Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get French fade slash baby boomer nails. To start off, I'm applying a layer of base coat. I'm using Zoya Anchor. And with any design, you always want to make sure to cap the free edge of the nail. Next, apply a layer of new nail polish. I'm using Zoya April and I like this one because it's pretty opaque. I'm going in with the second coat just to make it super opaque. Then I'm just going in with a cleanup brush dipped into acetone to clean up the edges. To make cleanup easier, I'm applying a peel off face mask around my nail. Next on a sponge, I'm using an old beauty blender. Apply the new color about two thirds of the way and then the last third will be the white color. Then dab the sponge in up and down motions to get a seamless blend. I'm going in with a second coat of the gradient just to build up opacity. And you just want to do the same thing from before, pounce the sponge in small up and down motion. You could stop there, but I decided to go with one more coat of the gradient. Once you're finished, remove the peel off face mask. If needed, go in with an angled brush dipped into acetone to clean up any of the mess left behind. Then go in with a generous layer of top coat to smooth out the texture left behind from the sponge as well as to blend the colors. And make sure to cap the free edge as usual to get your nails to last as long as possible. For the ring and thumbnails, I decided to go with a white glitter, so I applied a metallic white nail polish as a base. And since this nail polish was pretty sheer, I went in with a second coat. Here I have some white glitter mixed with a tiny bit of silver glitter and I'm using a fake nail as a scoop actually. And I'm just going to pour that over the white. You still want the white to be a little bit tacky, not completely dried for the glitter to stick onto it, but you don't want it to be too wet or else once you start rubbing the glitter into your nail, the nail polish underneath is gonna move. I'm using my finger and using a super light pressure just to flatten out the glitter. Seal everything in, go in with a generous layer of top coat to really smooth out the glitter and make sure it doesn't chip easily. Touch, 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 touch. And 
and this is the final finished product i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please comment rate and subscribe